So there is a difference between whole food plant-based and, and vegan. And it's just, you know, really, at least from what I found, one slight difference in that is um, the type of oils that we, we use uh, when we cook. So I want to pass this out. I have about 10 copies. Um, if you don't get one, let me know. And again, I'll, be, I'll bring more copies next week, a more detailed outline to you. So what will be included in the, in the updated or detailed uh, outline is this information here. And then I will also add in some recipes as well. And then I wanted to um, add in a couple of vitamins. So I didn't get into two specifics with the vitamins, but on the more detailed outline, I talk about more vitamins. Or, or, or the foods that you can eat that will provide the vitamins that, that you need to go throughout the process. Yeah, so those will be the two additions. Again, this thing can become lengthy, lengthy but I just wanted to be, I wanted to allow it to be very effective for you during this, during this time. So staying healthy with nutrition. Again, this is geared towards a whole food plant-based lifestyle. Uh, so this manual, just reading from this one, that's my receipt. I need that. Uh, this manual advocates a whole food, plant-based lifestyle, which centers on whole food, unrefined, unrefined or minimally refined plant foods instead of animal products and highly processed foods. So again, unrefined, that is, that is one of the key things or key differences between uh, vegan and whole food, plant-based is, is the unrefined products. So. With, with a vegan lifestyle, again, we're looking at um, cooking with olive oil and, and things of that nature, and they can be refined, but when we transition to that whole food plant-based lifestyle, now we want to look at more of the unrefined oils, and you can purchase avocado oil, avocado oil can be unrefined, uh, you can also purchase coconut oil as well that can be unrefined, so that's one of the key differences. With that, it's the oils that you purchase. One of the things, or for starters, that I wanted to uh, talk about, or to reiterate again, we last week and the week before last, we, we really home in on the, the macronutrients because the macronutrients are key. The macronutrients are, are what will give us our energy. So we think of the macro, macronutrients uh, where we receive our calories from because they give us our energy. And today, I'm going to talk about the remaining two of the basic building blocks, which is the micronutrients. So, if the macronutrients are the ones that provide us with most of our energy, what do you think the micronutrients will do? Not as provide us, not as much, right? Um, while the macronutrients, again, are the sources that will provide our calories, the micronutrients are not that. Uh, they lack the caloric value, hence we call them the no-calorie group, okay? However, vitamins and minerals, again, micronutrients, play a vital role in metabolism and maintenance and function of tissues, okay? Um, again, a couple of things I wanted to point out from last week is that many plant-based foods are incomplete sources of protein. So when we start looking at our protein, um, we want to be able to combine or to integrate different types uh, of plant-based foods. So when we look at the protein that we get from meat, we can get all of our complete proteins from meat. But doing many plant-based foods, we have to incorporate or add in or combine um, different sources. So an example here that is pointed out, an example would be combining beans and grains. So if you combine beans and grains together, then that will give you your complete proteins. So if you, just, if you eat beans by itself, that's good, but it doesn't give you that complete protein. So we want to get a complete protein and add beans and grains with that. Um, something else I wanted to point out from last week, we talked about fats and lipids. All right, so fats and lipids are, are important. Make sure you don't want to get too uh, much fat because the body reads that as fat and it could transform it into just that. Um, with the uh, 
with the omega-3, so with the omega-3, we receive our fatty acids. Um, so traditionally, if we were not doing a, a vegan lifestyle, um, we could incorporate things like fish. So I hate to say it, but when, we, when you do the go to the, the vegan route, again, that cuts out the uh, dairy milk, the dairy cheese, and also the eggs. So basically any animal product. And there's some debate about this, but fish kind of falls into that category too. So um, what I have done in the past with my omega-3, I would um, take a, a tablespoon of cod liver oil every morning. Well, going vegan, I'm not able to do that. So what can we do to receive our omega-3? Because the omega-3 is, uh, is important, it helps with, um, it kind of goes hand in hand with, uh, with antibodies and things like that. Not the immune system, yeah, it helps build the immune system. And that is a, that's something that we really need to, fish oil pills, yeah. <laughs> That's something that we really need to be preaching now is, is it boosting that immune system. So a couple things that we could do, good sources of healthy fats are nuts and seeds, uh, coconut oil and avocados. So nuts and seeds, coconut oil and avocados. So again, we're transitioning from um, the cod liver oil, uh, which is a fish product, and then looking at ingesting more nuts, seeds, coconut oils, and avocados. So again, all of that is just a recap from, from the macronutrients that we talked about last week, and you can find it here um, in this manual. Now, on to the new stuff. Okay, so there are only two that we're gonna talk about today. Uh, the two that we're gonna talk about today for the micronutrients are the vitamins and the minerals. Vitamins and the minerals, again, yay! <laughs> And there are a lot of vitamins. Um, they go all the way from vitamin A all the way to vitamin K. <laughs> um, so the vitamins are essential for growth and metabolism. Um, they can be water soluble or they can also be fat soluble as well. So the difference between water soluble and fat soluble is that the water is absorbed easily while the fat soluble or fat soluble vitamins take a little bit more time um, to be absorbed. So when we think about water soluble vitamins, we're talking about vitamin B and vitamin C. So vitamin B at one point in time was, was comprised of, of one big group and then it uh, goes all the way to 12, I believe. I think you go to the B12. Yeah, so it goes from uh, it has different categories. And again, I'll outline this next week. And then we have vitamin C. Obviously vitamin C, we can get it from citrus products such as oranges. So again, these vitamins are water soluble, meaning that they are absorbed within our bodies easier versus the fat soluble vitamins. The fat soluble vitamins are vitamins A, D, E, and K. A, D, E, N, K. And again, vitamins go from A all the way to K. Vitamin B has, has several different categories. So the vitamins, uh, fat-soluble vitamins are A, D, E, and K. So let's talk a little bit about that. For example, vitamin D. Um, has anyone ever heard of vitamin D? Yes. Yeah, have you heard of vitamin D? Okay. Um, so vitamin D is really good for bone development. Yeah. Vitamin D is good for bone development. So um, everyone who is planning to have children or everyone who is in the process has a bun in the oven, or it's, uh, everyone who has children, you know, we really want to make sure that, um, that the kiddos grow up with strong bones. So one of the things that we can do is make sure that they get their daily dose or just get a good dosage of vitamin D because that's going to help with bone development, okay? Um, now I'm going to ask you this question uh, to see who knows. Where, if I wanted to get a, a, uh, a natural source of vitamin D, where would I receive my natural source of vitamin D? From the sun, From the sun absolutely. So sunlight, uh, exposure to sunlight, can get a natural source of vitamin D. 
A couple, a couple of uh, weeks ago, I mentioned something about special supplements. So special supplements can be added into the category as a seventh category for basic building blocks. Um, but I also mentioned that I'm not big on special supplements if you don't have to. And I say that because vitamin D can be ingested as a supplement. So you can get a pill that you can ingest to get vitamin D. If you have to, if you're placed in a position where where you have to take your supplement, then take your supplement. But if you're placed in a position where you can go outside to get vitamin D five minutes of just sun exposure to sunlight, then go outside and get five minutes of sunlight. Right? So you can get it naturally. And again, with all of these vitamins, A through K, yes, we can get them through uh, special supplements, but we also can get them through uh, foods as well. Because the thing about ingesting pills, and correct me if I'm wrong, uh, it does take some time for pills to, to digest, right? Um, I think I read at one point in time it was 30 minutes at least for a pill to, to digest. So it can, it can sit in there for a while. Um, but if we can get it from our foods, then that would be a little bit more natural way. So those are vitamins, that's vitamin D. Uh, the other vitamin that I wanted to mention is vitamin K, vitamin K. Uh, so vitamin K along with vitamin D, again, vitamin D helps with bone development and vitamin K maintains bone health. Vitamin K maintains with bone health. So when we think about our much uh, older population and uh, they may be challenged with osteoporosis. Has anyone ever heard of osteoporosis? It's basically where the bones become brittle, uh, very uh, porous like or just brittle. So one of the things we wanna make sure that we're um, helping those individuals who are much older elderly population is making sure that they get their natural source of vitamin K. And again, you can get your natural source of vitamin K from, from the foods, right? Um, so that's important. So we can actually, we can combat things like osteoporosis by just changing our eating lifestyle. So, yeah, yeah. The, the, God, God designed this thing so beautifully. I mean, it's like, yeah. Wow. Um, okay. And then we have minerals. So minerals are uh, chemical, and I'm glad Pastor Reggie brought this up too. Um, this just ties in so well. So minerals are chemical elements. Um, chemical elements, when we think of elements, where can we find elements? I'm going to challenge you a little bit. Where can we find elements? In the ground, yes, ma'am. In the ground, in the ground. And, and and where does this suit come from? From the ground. Come on. You got to teach. That's a setup. Yes, sir. That's a setup. God set this thing up. Man, he set this up. <laughs> All right. Um, so, they're, yeah, they're found in the Earth's crust, and they are vital for regulating uh, many body functions, vital for regulating many body functions. And, and, and plants can take up the minerals as they grow, and we can eat the plants. Again, going back to uh, previous talks that we had, we can cut out the middleman, you know, because where are the animals getting their, 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 their proteins and minerals from? They're getting them from the plants. So we can cut out the middleman and get more of a source um, by going to the to the source uh, or to the plants, yeah. and then um, you know the minerals we have uh, iron, we have things like potassium, we have things like calcium, things like magnesium, things like zinc. Uh, to take you back to science class, if you were to look at your periodic table, right. your periodic table have all of the elements. Right. Yeah, periodic table have all of the elements, so you will see. Potassium, calcium, magnesium, and zinc. Um, the potassium helps support organs. So that's your liver function, um, kidney function, uh, pancreas function, spleen function, ovary function, organs. 
it's good to get your potassium. Now there was a question that was posed to me um, about potassium, and we all know that we can get our potassium from bananas, right? So the <laughs> bananas. So the question that was posed to me, well, what if I don't like eating bananas? Well, that's a great question. <laughs> So another source of potassium that we can get it, um, that we can, another source of food that we can get our potassium from would be uh, potatoes. So sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes because we obviously put them in the earth, or they come from the earth, grow from the earth. So we can get our source of potassium from potatoes. Wow. Mm -hmm. There is a, yeah, we got a question, all right. <laughs> That's a good question. Good question. That is a good question. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's a good question. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's just because, um, and I guess I should ex explain why. Um, because by the time they, they become the form of a potato chip, um, they really lost, have lost a lot of their nutrients. Um, so you don't get the, 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 the nutrient from it, just getting from it from the, yeah. So, uh, so we can get it from potatoes. Another plant um, that's, um, yeah, another plant that we can get it from is maca. Has everyone heard of maca, the maca root? M-A, yeah, you've heard of it. M-A-C-A, -A, maca root. The maca root is grown in Peru, in the mountains of Peru. Um, and it's a, uh, it's a plant that is, since it comes from the earth, it's a very earthy, earthy taste. <laughs> um, it's, it's certainly an acquired taste, but what I like to do is, is um, purchase maca powder and then use the maca powder for my smoothies. So I'll place maca powder in my smoothies. And again, it's a very earthy taste, but by doing that, I'm getting a good source of potassium. And again, it's helping support my, my organ function. Um, then we have calcium. So we all know that we can receive our calcium, or calcium helps build bones, okay? Um, we can receive calcium from milk. Uh, another source, just to throw out there, another source where we can receive calcium from, believe it or not, is broccoli. We can actually receive calcium from broccoli. Yeah, so you, again, cutting out the dairy milk. There's still almond milk. There's still cashew milk. Um, you can get oat milk as well. But if you want to change it up and just get a different source of calcium, just eat some broccoli. Just eat some broccoli. Okay? Yeah. Um, last but not least, uh, talking about the minerals. Um, again, minerals and vitamins, they, they often work together, and that's why they, they are placed in the micronutrient category, because they work together as, as the proteins, the carbohydrates, and the lipids and fats, they work together, the vitamins and minerals work together um, to, to perform and support bodily functions, again, such as uh, calcium and vitamin D. Here's a quiz for you, or um, pop quiz. Where, what, does the, what does vitamin D um, do for your body. We, we, we talked about this. Bone development, yeah. Bone development, awesome, okay. And what is the natural source of vitamin D? Sun, sun. yeah, sun. Um, something else I wanted to point out before moving to, to minerals is the zinc. Again, zinc aid in healthy growth and development. Again, kiddos and even adults. Um, but specifically kiddos, we want to make sure that we give the, um, the, the appropriate um, uh, amount or just make sure that they get good zinc within their body. Now we can get our zincs, again, we can take a tablet, we can take a special supplement um, to get the zinc, or we can also get it from food as well. Um, just to list a few foods that we can get the zinc from, one would be legumes. Has anyone ever heard of a legume? Yeah, all right. Whole grain and also mushrooms. Mushrooms will give us zinc as well. Yeah, mushrooms will give us zinc. So that's all that I have for vitamins and minerals. Again, those are your six basic building blocks of the body. If we had to add a seventh, it would be special supplements, 
But again, with nothing against special supplements, if you have to take it, then take it. But we can also get it from food as well. And uh, all right, so no questions on that? Okay, awesome. Um, so just to run through this, what to eat. Again, this is based on a, uh, a whole food plant-based um, lifestyle. Um, just to reiterate the difference between a whole food plant-based lifestyle and a vegan, we're just looking at the refined products versus the unrefined oils, okay? A couple of things you want to load up on during this process. You want to make sure you load up on your fruits, such as your bananas, yes. Ooh, blueberries, yes. oranges, uh -oh. strawberries. Yes. Oh, so delicious. Yes. Yes. Vegetables, load up on your vegetables. Broccoli, yes. okay. Uh, carrots, yes. uh, cauliflower, Ooh. kale, and lettuce. All right, so now we're looking at our starches. Corn, load up on corn. Green peas, potatoes. Oh yeah, winter squash. Load up on whole grains, barley, brown rice, oats, quinoa, and wheat berries. You can substitute, if you are, if you love rice, you can substitute um, white rice, obviously, for brown rice, but you can also substitute white rice with quinoa as well. Quinoa is delicious. Yeah. Uh, legumes, so black beans, chickpeas, lentils, and pinto beans. And pinto beans, oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and remember, when, 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 when we're going through this process to receive um, complete proteins, we want to combine these things. So if we're loading up on black beans, then we should also incorporate pinto beans along with that. Yes, because with the black beans by itself, it's not an incomplete protein. It's an incomplete protein, so we'll make it complete, and then we add the pinto beans. Cornbread. <laughs> Another thing to uh, um, to pay attention to going through this process uh, is enjoy in moderation. So these are some of the things you want to enjoy. Yes, ma'am. Yes. It's so easy to put in a can of pinto beans and two beans all day. It's canned. I know it's canned beans, but I if you're in a pinch, <laughs> if you're in a pinch, then, then, then yeah, if you're in a pinch. Um, but if you're able to, you know, get go to the grocery store and, and get them fresh, then that would be preferred. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's a good one. No, that's good. That's good. So things you should enjoy in moderation. Uh, plant-based milks, not saying you cannot have plant-based milks, almond milk, cashew milk, hemp, oat, rice, or soy, but just enjoy in moderation. Uh, tofu or tempeh, tofu or tempeh. Uh, my brothers and sisters in the back, they, they've cooked a, a delicious meal that has uh, tofu that's you know, it looks like egg, but it's not egg. It's made from tofu. So you can do a lot with tofu. Tofu is so delicious. I've never had tempeh. What's it? Like. Yeah, what's it like? <laughs> is it one of those things that it takes on the flavor that you... Yes. So it's by itself, like it doesn't really taste like much? It, it doesn't. Okay. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Okay. Yeah. I have, yeah. I just, I laugh because I, I have an experience with tempeh, but yeah. Oh, so. <laughs> Well, I just, I just remember, um, it's more of something that was just funny at first and just became so annoying. <laughs> um, so at one point in time, um, I lived in, I had the privilege of living in Indonesia, um, with, which, is in, which is in Asia. Um, so living in Indonesia. And um, I remember every morning waking up, um, at least with this particular host family, there was a, a tempeh lady 
she would roll down the, her car every morning, like 5 or 6 a.m., going down the street yelling tempeh, because she, was, she sold tempeh. And then, so, you know, at, at first, it's, it's kind of funny, it's kind of cute, but I'm like, I, I'm, I'm being annoyed by that now. Um, just hearing that every morning outside my window. <laughs> tempeh, tempeh. <laughs> I don't want your tempe. <laughs> so, but yeah, it's something that's a, that's an acquired taste. You know, it, it it's a uh, it looks like it looks like tofu. Um, it's not a bean though. He's gonna Google it. Yes. I have never had dragon fruit, but I've heard that dragon fruit is delicious. White Duck Taco has a really good taco that I was told that has dragon fruit in it. Yeah. You want to say something? Okay. I would believe it's good. If it's a fruit, more than likely it's, yeah, it's good for you. Um, whole grain flours and breads. And, uh... Whole nuts and seeds, nut seed butter, so almond butter, pumpkin seeds, um, yeah, um, and walnuts and just any kind of nuts you would want to, you, you would want to eat in moderation uh, because nuts are one of those things that will fill you up quickly. So if you're looking for an afternoon snack, um, what I've typically done is, is went and grabbed some nuts, like some almonds or, or cashews or things of that nature. So they will fill you up fast. So, but enjoy them in moderation. A couple things you want to avoid or minimize. Um, uh, white breads and white pastas. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, boy. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, boy. Remember with the breads, there is a bread. Um, uh, it's called Ezekiel bread. <laughs> it's a flourless bread. <laughs> yeah, it is a flourless bread. It's certainly a, an acquired taste. Yeah. Flourless? Flourless? Mm -hmm. It's a very dull and plain taste. Um, <laughs> you're, it's something that your, your, your palate just would have to become accustomed to. Yeah, if you eat it enough. It tastes like those, uh, I'm trying to get like an idea. Mm -hmm. Is it like those little uh, communion crackers, that type of, you know what I'm talking about, the little spoons? Mm -hmm. Is it like that? Star Wars. Mm -hmm. Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. <laughs> Similar, yeah, similar. Yeah, similar. Yeah, it's real thick. It's thick, it's more like grain. But no flavor. No flavor at all. You can put almond butter on it. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot. You can do almond butter. Um, and of course, dairy products. So we talked about avoiding dairy products. Dairy products is something that you would want to avoid. Um, again, the, the dairy cheese and the dairy milk. Eggs. Um, but again, you can substitute things like tofu um, in that place. Meat, poultry, and seafood. Oils. Again, with the oils want to make sure that we are cooking with unrefined oil so you can purchase coconut oil that is unrefined um, refined sweeteners and white rice so again white rice the white bread the white pasta want to uh, avoid or or minimize that you know, i mean if you're in a pinch then if white rice is all you had and you really want to eat rice then go for it um, but remember, you can also substitute your, your rice for quinoa, too. So that's something cool to, to start to add into your, um, into your meals. Last but not least, we talked about this last week, the seven primary herbs of our food healing system. So these are seven primary herbs. 
Um, so we have things like garlic, ginger, rosemary, and turmeric. Okay, so turmeric is comes from a root, so it comes from the ground, which would make it a mineral-based thing, right? Mineral-based plant. Um, so it's really good for you. Uh, a lot of anti-inflammatory, anti, anti everything with turmeric. Um, also incorporate again garlic and ginger. Um, when I make meals, I like to use garlic and ginger. I'll use some turmeric. With 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 using any of these, we want to. You, you don't have to use everything. The more that you use, the better. But then you'll start to figure out there are some things that just doesn't mesh well with my system. And that's fine. That is fine. Um, just making sure that you get your some of these herbs in when you cook. Uh, and the last three, cilantro, basil, and mint. So fresh cilantro, fresh, fresh basil, and fresh mint. So if you're making some type of a salad to add in cilantro, basil, or mint, or if you're making some type of soup, you can add in the garlic, ginger, rosemary, and turmeric. Uh, I would say one of the, that is not on this sheet, but another big part of this um, is making sure that you receive your rest. So making sure that you receive your appropriate rest. Because during this time, your body is going to go through changes. And I'm, I'm so glad that we've had two, two great examples. Yeah. One last week and then one this week. That was, that's beautiful. It's a real thing, people. Yeah, it's a real thing. But I, I want to encourage everybody, and again, during this process, um, you all have accountability for each other, um, to encourage one another. And, you know, just to let you know that it's a process. Yeah, it's a process. If, if you're not, and for some people, it's easier to transition into it. Some it's not. But just, just be patient with yourself. And just know that if you're going through that transition, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Yes. Amen. Yeah. There may be some times you'll want to eat your pillow uh, in the middle of the night. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I think your pillow's a chicken leg. Pastor said the other night, he said he had to tell himself to get me a snack and eat some stuff all day and good stuff. Yeah. And he said, he said, I got up and got put back in the kitchen again. He said, I just talked to myself. He said, I said, you are not hungry. Take your butt to bed. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 Yeah.
and you taste something organic, natural for you, it's a mental explosion. Your body needs it, and your body desires it and start craving it. That's crazy. You know, like when you eat chocolate, endorphins are released, and you feel, you know, uh, the high, the rush. Same thing with those fruit, but they're good for you. Like a banana is like, my, I'm getting something good, and it's good to me, so, you know, it's double the, the pleasure. Yes, 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 yeah. That's coming from the man himself. Amen. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's a real deal. Um, but enjoy, enjoy this process, and um, there, there, uh, yeah, there are things that are, that are going to happen to you. Um, yes, sir that uh, you're going to see blessings and favor. I'm just going to, you know, on, if, I'm, if, if I'm able to, yes, to prophesy, prophesy this, I mean, you're going to see things that just come into your life and you're like, what? You know, how does this, how does this come about? And I'm just, are, are we online? Because I don't want to say this online. Can we tap it? Just a little bit? 